for a jump. Ah, uh, weak. Weak. <laughs> oh, what's up guys? I'm Otto Chris. And this is a 200cc Chinese motorcycle that I got for $2,400. And this thing is rad, my dudes. It is very rad indeed. I don't, I don't know if this needs to be explained to the majority of you guys or not, but to some people it does, and I know that for a fact. What I want to explain and illustrate to you guys in this video is the fact that slow bikes can be fun bikes too. Now I am abusing this one pretty, pretty decent amount, I would say. <laughs> but the thing can take it. Beautiful thing about this motorcycle is that it is fuel injected. So most Chinese motorcycles that you can buy for around $2,000 or less will be carbureted. And this guy is, and this guy is fuel injected, tunes itself no matter what elevation you're at. Don't ever need to do any carb upgrades or anything like that. You just don't have to deal with it. It's so much better. Runs great right off the bat. Super smooth. And this is only a 200cc motorcycle. I, this thing max will go maybe 70, 65 down a hill. It does some cool off-road stuff. But then once you get it on the road, you find out that it just rides and shifts so smoothly. It, I mean, it's like it was built by Honda or Yamaha or something like that. Except they really don't offer anything at this price range and in this class of motorcycles. A kind of enduro street slash off-road type motorcycle. And these things are super fun. I mean, you, you get these things to twisty roads in your local neighborhood or something. You know, maybe take it to the canyons. You won't be able to go on the highway with it, but on the canyons you'll be able to have a ton of fun. These tires have a 60-40 blend, like 60% on-road, 40% off-road to tread on them. Like, but this thing kills it in the twisty roads. It's just so light and, and believe it or not, it's confidence inspiring for the kind of money that you pay for this motorcycle. I mean, I feel like I'm back on my R3 almost. It's just kind of got a little bit of a different personality and shape to it. Obviously, it's not as fast as the R3. You know, I won't be going, driving from here to the mountains 30 minutes away so I can hit the canyons or anything like that. Um, but it'll definitely be a good commuter, especially for around town, not too far away. You could do highway stretches. You know, if, say you've only got a few exits and maybe your city's not as trafficked as mine is, you could take this on the highway a few exits. I haven't personally, but I might. If you're a seasoned rider, don't get me wrong, you're definitely going to miss the power. But, I don't know, there's just something about riding a slow bike fast. And the thing about motorcycles is that the majority of them, you can wheelie. I mean, I mean you saw it, these things will wheelie. And they'll slide. The thing about these is that, I mean, they're so forgiving with this 200cc engine. You could pretty much full throttle it and pop the clutch and it'll spin out like what I just did back there. It's very, very, very forgiving. I mean, if I just grab a fistful of throttle right now, you know, it's not gonna buck me off like if it would a 600 or something like that. But, you know, if you're a beginner, a little slip up like that could mean serious, serious, physical bodily harm for yourself, I mean, especially on a bigger bike, but on this thing, nah. Look, I'll even downshift into it. So forgiving. Brakes are decent too. I mean, this is just a testament to how if you really want to ride a motorcycle, 
you can do so and you can have a lot of fun for not a lot of money. The KTM Duke prepared me. And gave me the confidence to get up on one wheel. This is the first motorcycle I've really tried to wheelie since the KTM Duke. And it's so smooth. If I give it a little bit more gas, it's not gonna throw the front wheel up so high, so fast that I won't be able to catch it. You know, it's just, I don't know, the bikes like this are just underrated, dude. Look at that fat chemtrail right there. If you've got the money to spend and you've been looking to ride a motorcycle for not a lot of money as your first bike or maybe just a bike to beat around on i definitely recommend the life and expect one two 197 cc enduro motorcycle right here it's street legal let me pull over so you guys can see this thing i've been just sitting here enjoying it for myself I'm not even letting you guys see it what's wrong with me here it is, 2400 bucks used. I think you can get it for like, I think like 2600 delivered to your door, but then you have to build it and uh, put it together. And I don't have the patience for that. And I got this one because it's got like an aftermarket LED already. Already got aftermarket grips. It's got this cool phone mount. And um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, and the turning signals and running lights. You know, this originally just comes with the fat, ugly, bulb ones, uh, not LED. So the previous owner put these on, and they look so sick. They're um, running lights. Just, they look cool at night, but they're also turning signals. Just like that, kind of sequential. Pretty slim look. Let's take a look at the back. It's got the same thing going on right here. What I really like about the ones in the back is that they flash red along with your brake light uh, i don't think i'm gonna be able to show you i don't know if you guys can see that but they flash red along with your brake light just kind of gets more attention better for riding at night um and it's it's i gotta say it's a decent looking bike for being chinese and whatnot super cheap um when i got it the mirror was already broken don't mind that and yeah it gets like 100 mpg miles per gallon which is ridiculous i think it's got like a 2.6 gallon tank i don't think i've put gas in it since i got it to be honest such a cool bike i mean like i said you could just tone it around in your neighborhood if you've got like 30 minutes between your job or school or taking care of the kids or whatever else you got going on in your life and you need to just decompress and go out and ride for a little bit without going too far i mean this thing is perfect i actually just ride it around the parking lot all day and jump the little speed bumps that are back there and it, it it'd be fun man it's not you're not gonna go 100 miles an hour on it <laughs> you're not even gonna go 80 but it's still fun slow bikes can be fun and just the ability to go off road makes it that much better too this is my backyard, so my apartment complex, pretty much. This is gnarly over here. It's all dirty and disgusting. Kind of want to go down there. See, this is how I get myself in trouble. I don't even think there's anywhere for me to cross. I mean, I definitely could have crossed that. It looks kind of gross. Yep. They got wet. <laughs> I don't want to get super disgustingly wet with this water that I don't even know where it comes from. <sighs> Alright, I'm going this way. It definitely smells like sewer water. Ah, oh, so disgusting, bro. Woohoo, yeah! 
dirt bike riding. Oh, my shoes are super slippery. I just slipped off the peg. <laughs> oh, I just want to get out of here at this point. Neutral, oh, of course. Well, look at all those chunks of mud flying everywhere. I'm gonna need to do laundry after this. Ah, my eye! Sorry, yeah, you know. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. It's just the kind of things you get into, man. That's what happens when you ride a dirt bike. It's street legal. You get dirty. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go home and clean up. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Full throttle, by the way. I think I had one more gear. Not even breaking the speed limit. You see? You see, you need a bike like this. Especially you guys who are addicted to speed. You won't ever get in trouble on this thing ever again. There'll be a lot more shenanigans. A lot more crazy bikes and just some cool stuff and good old fun man isn't that what we all want out of our machines just some good old fun I'll see you guys in the next one peace